Human habitations have changed form and style in congruence with the evolution of mankind. Our immediate challenge in terms of physical space due to rising shortage of land has led us once again to the threshold of redefining a dwelling. Here are some of the most interesting floating structures, a possible abode for our future generations. The Floating Era Hotel by Alexander Asadov is a marvelous architectural design that will be a landmark for the floating structures of the future. The 200 meter wide central body of the platform sits on various beams resembling a bicycle with supporting arms. The visitors will be able to trip the hotel either by water, climbing one of the foundation arms or by air using the airstrips on deck. This under construction project is one of the most innovative, rather fantastic options available for future commercial and residential architecture. The underwater city in Bulgaria is a revolutionary town since it's not only built in the middle of the lake but also below the water level. Though not fully under the water, a huge dam enclosing the city keeps the water away from the living area. Surely it can be a great tourist spot attracting millions of visitors from all over the world. The next architectural futuristic abode becomes a reality only when half the world's existing shorelines have disappeared due to rising sea levels. This floating acropolis for climate refugees has stealth Mercedes branding in its windows, biotic walls and a roof covered with grassland soaking up solar energy. Its submerged bottom serves as a natural seabed for planktons and oceanic plants. The Acropolis also features biotech functions which will help the floating communities self-sustain and survive in the increasingly challenging environs of the future Earth. Truly a marvel to watch only if you happen to survive that long. The award-winning oil rig resort, spa and aquatic adventure design concept by Morris Architects aims to convert the standard Gulf Coast oil rig into a sustainable luxury resort. Hotelier at Sea Project will use nearly 80 million square feet of space on these rigs to create exclusive resort islands, thereby creating an eco-friendly, luxurious oceanic experience. The prefabricated rooms will be transported out to the rig as a standard cargo container. Guest room unfolds and extends to the functional configuration. Now transforming discarded oil rigs into luxury hotels for the rich and the famous is unquestionably a great idea. The idea of an underground hotel might not be unique, but this one under construction in Dubai is larger, deeper underwater and far more opulent than its rivals. While an automatic train running through underground tunnels takes the guests to the hotel, 220 of the hotel's bubble-shaped suites lie on the floor of the Persian Gulf, 66 feet under the surface of the water. Due to marine environment and financial issues, the Hydropolis construction timeline has blown out somewhat and is now expected to be completed by 2009. The next one, called the AZ Island Project, is really something outrageous. This high-tech architectural island is the brainchild of architect John Philip Zupponi. If the project sees the light of the day, it will measure 400 meters by 300 meters, will have 29 floors, and will be able to welcome up to 10,000 passengers. It's really too much for someone's imagination. The mermaid-inspired aquatic building by JD Architects shows the building in every extreme biome on Earth, from tropical islands to glacial surroundings. The structure has four central functions, a dolphinarium, wellness center, vacation homes and a hotel, each one of which are nestled between dynamic architectural features like caves, sloping hills and of course the dramatic inclines of the island building itself. Mermaid is a new take on ecotourism, brings dolphins and sea life front and center for visitors and residents, all wrapped up in a dramatic architectural feat. Designed by Giancarlo Zema, the floating dwelling comprises five separate levels all connected by a snazzy spiral staircase. The colossal seat in the sea stands 10 meters high and 15 meters wide. The floors are very neatly split into study, night, day, guest and viewing quarters. Now this one is truly a green marvel. It's a zero carbon building designed by Adam Khan. 
The buildings have been made of low embodied energy materials such as thatch, willow and timber, drawing on the heritage of wetland dwellings besides embodying a sustainable agenda. And the entire project is going to have a waste recycling program and the whole island will form a mini echo space filled with malls, shops and other structures. Irrespective of the primary motive at least the environment stands irrespective of the primary motive at least the environment stands to benefit from all of this.